Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn about a Salesforce reporting feature that is grouping the reports. So if you want to make your data more organized, then this video is going to helpful for you. And if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, so subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that every time we upload a video, you will get a notification. So first, let's quickly understand what is a grouped report is in Salesforce. So in Salesforce, a group report allows us to categorize and summarize our data by specific fields that make it easier to analyze the trends and patterns and that is helpful when you are managing the large data sets so the grouping of reports is done at the row level for the specific fields in the form of weekly monthly yearly and quarterly format so let's move ahead and see how we can create a report in the group format so now we are going to create a report and then we will see how we can group the report data in the format of day date month and a year so as of now, I've logged into my Salesforce developer account and right now I'm on the setup page of Salesforce Lightning. And from here, we will navigate to the reports tab. For that, you have to simply click on this app launcher and from here, search and select reports. So here it is. So now we are on the reports tab. And to create a new report, we have to click on this new report button. So in this step, we have to select the category for the report that we are going to create. So in this example, I'm going to create a fortunate report. So according to your requirement, you have to select the report type also. So here I'm again selecting the report type as opportunities. And after selecting the category and the report type, click on the start report button. So as of now, you won't see any records on the report table because we haven't applied the filters yet. So to add the fields, we have to apply the filters. And here you can see the various fields of filters. So here I will select show me as all opportunities. It is correct it is fine according to my requirements and the close date here i'm going to keep as all time and then click on the apply button so as you can see these are the opportunity record generated on the report table and you can also apply some additional filters according to your requirements and uh, after applying the filters i will go to the out outline tab and from the outline tab you will see two sections that is groups and columns so from columns you can add or remove the field that you want to display or want to remove from the report tables so here i want to remove the fields like opportunity honor so you have to simply click on this cross icon to remove the column from the report table and after this we have to select the field by which we want to group our reports for example i want to group the opportunity records according to the stage so now after adjusting the column we are going to group the report from a specific date field and make sure that you have selected us that you have selected a date field to group the reports by month year or any other date format so first we have to group it so here i'm going to show how you can group the records by month so for this i'm going to select the field close date so so we have to click on this group rows and here select the date field so as of now the report records are grouped according to the close date field so now to group the records in the weekly monthly or yearly format you have to click on the drop down of the group field and here go to the field group date by and here you can see the options day calendar week calendar month calendar quarter calendar year and the fiscal quarter and other date fields format through which you can group your report so here i'm going to group this report records by calendar month so i will select the option calendar month so as you can see the records are grouped in the monthly format and you can also add a chart over here so that you can have a better visualization of the grouped records so as you can see these are the records respective to each month and to group the records according to the weekly or day format you have to again simply click on this you have to simply click on this drop down again and from here you can change the format also like this time i will group the report by calendar week so now you can see the reports are grouped according to the weekly format and same goes with the year you can go here and select the calendar year so now the records are grouped in the yearly format so this is how we can group the report in the weekly monthly or yearly format in salesforce and let's see another option where we can group date by a specific day of the year so here there is option calendar day in month so now you can see the dates of month also 
So this is how you can group records in report in a weekly, monthly or yearly format in Salesforce. And uh, after creating the report, you have to simply save and run it. So for that, you have to click on the save and run button and enter the name of the report. And after entering the name and the report unique name, you have to select the folder where you want to save this report. So I am selecting the location as a public folder and then at last click on the save button so the report will be saved in the selected folder and it will run in the next window where you can view all the records according to the apply grouping filter so this was about grouping report according to the weekly monthly and yearly format in salesforce lightning now i will show you how you can group reports in the classic edition also the steps are going to be the same but there will be a little bit difference because of the change in the ui so now i will navigate to the classic version and from here we have to navigate to the reports tab so here is the reports tab now we are going to create a new report to group it so this time i am going to select the lead object and after this click on create button so now to generate the records we have to apply the filters so i am adding filter as show all leads and the range i am setting as all time so now you can see the records are generated and to add grouping in the classic format first we have to change the format of the table so for that i have to change the table format from tabular to summary and now what you have to do here is you have to drag the field through which by which you want to create the grouping of records and in this example we are going to group the reports with the created date field so i will drag the created date fields to the region where the message is written drop a field here to create a grouping and after this you can see the records are grouped according to their created date so now to change the format and group these records according to the weekly monthly or yearly format you have to again simply click on this drop down arrow of the grouped field and here you can see the groups dates by option and like what we have done in the lightning edition we can we have to again select the option like calendar quarter calendar month calendar week uh, so here i am selecting calendar week and you can see the records are grouped according to the calendar week and if i select the calendar month the record will be grouped according to the month the records are grouped in the monthly format like you can see here july january february the created date months of these records so these records are grouped according to the month in which they were created so this is how we can group report according to the weekly monthly and yearly format in salesforce classic so this was all about grouping reports in salesforce lightning as well as classic edition in the weekly monthly or yearly format and i hope that you like this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye